hello 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 welcome back welcome to if you're new my name is abria perry and welcome to my channel today we are doing may favorites i hope you all had a good may as good as can be expected um with us still being in the house but i wanted to just share some things with you guys that i have been using over the last couple months and really picked up using or restarted using this past month and absolutely fell in love with so a couple of these things i've had for a while a couple of them i just started using them in this new way and a couple of them i just got i'm also going to share some music faves with you guys this month as well because we've just had so much time to listen to music and read books and watch tv shows that i just i have to share them with you guys because we're friends and that's what friends do they share information but without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video if you are not subscribed please make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button I have a goal of hitting 50,000 subscribers in 2020 and you liking and subscribing will help me out so very much so please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below follow me on Instagram at I am Brie Perry so you never miss any more of the fun but let's go ahead and get into it go ahead and start off with beauty because i have the most things from beauty and the first thing that i'm going to show are the oily or ollie i always mispronounce these these are their probiotic their peach probiotic gummies they're called the peachy peach gummy probiotics and they are so freaking good they work really really well definitely um, help to keep me you on know, my digestive system going and everything just going really really well a lot of the times when I get stressed out my digestive system can kind of really freak out and lose its mind and I know a lot of people have that same problem and um, as females it's just very important to make sure that you're taking a probiotic and a prebiotic and getting all of that good stuff inside so I really like these this is how they look all of their gummies are usually circles I also really love their beauty vitamins I usually switch between their beauty vitamins um, their hair skin and nail beauty vitamins and the Myel organic hair vitamins which are actually exceptional as well if you're looking for a new beauty vitamin but these are really really good I get them from Amazon and they come in a 30-day supply so I highly suggest these if you are looking for a probiotic prebiotic and you are somebody who does not like swallowing huge vitamin pills or you just don't like the taste I don't like the taste of like the capsules like I just feel like if it's a pill why does it have a taste like maybe that's just me so the next beauty item or wellness item that I have is a grapeseed oil and I use the Now Solutions grapeseed oil like this. I get this online. I actually use it in my hair. It's leaking. It's not even really leaking. It just kind of sweats if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain it but there's just always like oil on the bottle but this is amazing i have always used grapeseed oil in my hair i use avocado oil in my hair because i am natural under this i'm natural but um when i take care of my natural hair under my unit when i wear my natural hair out i always use grapeseed oil avocado oil and hope oil but i recently within 2020 started using grapeseed oil on my skin as well on um, my body and sometimes I even use it on my face because it's a very light moisturizer it has no smell um, it doesn't leave any type of residue it doesn't clog your pores and it's just a really good natural no fuss no muss moisturizer which is very important for me because I have extremely um, sensitive skin I have eczema I definitely have it under control but when I was a little kid I had really bad eczema in the most random places like I would get it behind my knees you know in the crease of my armpit pretty much anywhere that like you know was kind of like could sweat or like it just had a weird crease maybe that's TMI but I had to find good mixtures of sensitive skin care now that I'm older and I've gotten it under control I, I don't really rock the boat I use what I know um, I'm not somebody who switches up my makeup very often 
but when I do I definitely try to make sure that I'm balancing out with good skincare so the grapeseed oil is really really nice for me I kind of use it in replace of like a serum on my face if that makes sense a lot of people like to use um, different serums from Sephora and all that good stuff and while they're they're absolutely amazing and I hear great things about them I oftentimes tend to get hives when I use them or my face breaks out something happens so I typically just try to stick with natural situations for my skincare other than my face wash which I use which is purity and um, it's just very clean ingredients so I really try to stick with clean ingredients when it comes to my body um, skincare as well as my face skincare so grapeseed oil is a really great option if you're somebody with sensitive skin or if you're just looking for a new moisturizer that's effective and affordable I highly suggest looking into grapeseed oil. I like to use it with my Eucerin, which is like a really thick eczema cream. If you're not familiar with dry skin cream, it's an over-the-counter, um, just kind of good eczema cream. And it is so freaking thick. Like, if you have ever used Eucerin, you know that you will be there rubbing it in for years. But if you put um, the Eucerin on your body and let it be a little thick and then go over it with the grapeseed oil or even put both of them in your hand at the same time it really helps to thin it out and it you know you can work it into your body much easier which is typically what I do so now let's move on to makeup like I told you guys I do not switch up my makeup very often but these are a couple things that I really wanted to try out and these first two items I actually heard about from Hilo Lux who is also a youtuber and blogger um, Janae she is fabulous if you have never watched her channel definitely check her out but she uses the Strivectin anti-wrinkle line blur factor and the anti-wrinkle blur factor for your eyes and these are both primers this one is a face primer and this one is an eyelid and under eye primer and I've never really been much one for like primers i used to use the benefit professional and then i started using i think it's the maybelline um pore minimizer primer but my pores aren't really that big and i don't usually wear foundation so i just never felt like i needed it as much but i was starting to notice that my makeup was creasing a little bit because i wasn't using I'm also not really a powder person so I was like okay do you want to have to put something on top before it to not wrinkle increase or do you want to put something on the bottom so I was like okay I'll put something on the bottom because sometimes when you use powder it can look chalky and whatever so I saw these on her channel earlier in the year or maybe it was last year she was trying them out and then she mentioned them again a couple months ago and I was like you know what I might check these out and they are really really good they have not broken my skin out at all which is a really big deal for me because almost anything I try I get some type of reaction whether it is a lasting reaction or it's just kind of my skin getting used to it I usually get something so these two have not done anything and I really like them they have a thick this one has kind of like a thick consistency and when you put it on it almost kind of feels like a little texture which is interesting to me because usually stuff like this is like jelly and it has an interesting um, smell to it as well it's almost kind of like it smells almost kind of like medicated which honestly I don't mind I don't know if that's weird but I really don't mind it it, it makes me feel like it's doing something and it's like fruity I'm like oh you just here for play play like you're not really here to get the job done but when I kind of smell stuff like this I'm like oh like you're here to like hold me down so yes both of these are really really great I got them from Amazon directly from Strivectin which is the company that makes them on like their Amazon shop um that's also a, a tip if you get things like this on Amazon make sure that you get them directly from the seller the creator of the item because oftentimes people sell fakes or like i don't know they just will be kind of like off brand so whenever i get things like this from amazon i make sure that i get them directly from the seller ulta also sells them but ulta said that they weren't going to come until like june like 12th and i got these in march or april so I was like, yeah, no, we can't do that. So I got them from Amazon because Prime, baby, you know, we're impatient. 
So lastly for beauty favorites, I have some makeup here for you guys. Like I said, I don't switch it up very often, but I will hold it down for Riri. She has never broken me out ever 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 came around i have not had any issues with it in my um sensitive skin so i am usually pretty open to trying out fenty items and the first item that i have here is one of their match sticks and this is in the color espresso i like to use this to contour it's a little bit more of a darker shade when i want to contour and then recently in the sephora sale i picked up their bronzer the sun stalker instant warmth bronzer in caramel cutie and honey listen she's cute she's a caramel cutie okay gorgeous like this color is gorgeous and it's perfect it's the perfect color for my skin tone it's the perfect color for me to use on my nose it's not super harsh and i really also like using it in my eyelid crease um, i'm somebody who when it comes to makeup i'm really kind of like a lesser more type person i sometimes have like a very young face and when i wear too much makeup or when i wear like yeah too much makeup like a beat face i often kind of look like a little girl playing in her mom's makeup like you i look a little bit older but it's kind of like you know that i just look older from the makeup so i usually really like to just go with natural makeup natural kind of eyeshadow and stuff and like some lashes lashes are pretty much like as funky as i get with my makeup just because i just really like kind of like the natural beauty situation so i'd much rather focus on really good skincare and minimal makeup than a lot of makeup just because it doesn't usually look the best on me i'm not a makeup artist that's why i'm a fashion blogger um that's why we do fashion and finance over here we play our strengths so and now moving on to fashion i actually have two items that i'm going to share with you guys and the first is this top that i have on which is from top shop it is like a really nice organza material it's blue which you can't really see in this light but it's kind of like a light baby blue it has this really cute detail on the sleeves which i personally really enjoy and i think it's super duper cute and i picked this up from nordstrom for about 30 35 40 dollars it's really cute i love tops like this because i can dress them up or dress them down they make great bathing suit cover up they look really really great with shorts um because they're kind of like tunic style and i like to have something longer on top when i wear something super short on the bottom uh, that's just my personal preference but i just thought that this was going to be a really nice versatile top for the summer and it looks very um expensive to me so i really really enjoy this top and i wanted to share you with you guys again i got it from nordstrom but it is by top shop the next fashion favorite they're controversial and don't come at me you either love them or you hate them but i just personally don't understand how you could hate these cuties because they're just adorable are these zara dad sandals chunky sandals they have beads on them and i recently showed these in my summer essentials i actually showed both of these items in my summer wardrobe essentials video so if you have not seen that video go ahead and check it out i will leave the link to it in the description box for you guys but they're fabulous they are just adorable they look so cute with dresses i wore them the other day with a bite short set and they're just very easy and effortless but still like extra if i were a sandal i would probably be these they are just so cute i love chunky sandals i love birkenstocks i've always been a birkenstock person and so when the chunky like dad sandal situation came around i was all for it i'm not so much into like the super neutral color palette ones because those kind of look like hiking sandals to me like i need a little bit of oomph like a little bit of extra a little bit of glam just it's my personal preference but these ones honey with the little beads on them and they they you know they shimmer shimmer yeah 
those are my girls so cute i'm gonna wear them all summer i've already been wearing them all may um since i got them so i wanted to go ahead and share those with you guys i got them from zara i believe they're about 56 dollars so definitely go and check them out they are very comfortable they have a hard bottom and they're not flimsy at all i have extremely flat feet so i do not play about shoes i am not somebody who's here for the little cheap uh floppy situations you gotta give me some type of support or else ankles are going to be rolling over all day so if you are interested in those sandals they are really really cute very affordable and extremely comfortable so i highly suggest them and just get ready to see them on my instagram all summer long <laughs> so now moving on to miscellaneous other music okay I am an old soul. I am an old soul all day long. So when it comes to music, I am definitely always going to go for like R&B, soul, gospel. Don't get me wrong. I love my hip hop. I love my trap. Like I really do. But when it just comes to like me listening to something over and over and over again, it's usually going to be like on some calm, just in my feelings um, type situation and that's what it is it is what it is so for music division came out with a new album and when i tell you a foot was put in this album the whole foot the whole leg the whole leg was put in this album it is so good amuse in her feelings if you have not listened to this album you need to i wish i could play it for you guys without getting copyrighted i really do because it is just amazing and it is everything that i needed and everything that i've ever wanted in an album i listened to this thing over and over again and i mean the whole album i listened to the whole thing all the way through it is not something that i just have four or five songs on the album that i like and i just skip right to those no i would put it on shuffle and run that thing back over and over again so my favorite songs on the album are Dangerous City and So What. Um, Dangerous City has Buju in it and So What has Popcorn in it. I love reggae. I love dance hall. I love Afro beats. I love just a Caribbean or good African vibe. So having those two in it just absolutely set it off me and then between us with snow allegra is amazing amuse honestly the whole album is exceptional so if you have not listened to it and you're just looking for a good vibe i highly suggest it check it out other new music fave is grace vanderwall she was on i think america's got talent and i'm that random youtuber i'm like that person that falls into the random like you look at one thing on youtube i mean this is probably everybody but you look up something like how to make roast chicken and then before you know it you're like an hour two hours deep into like the pit of youtube that has nothing to do with your initial search so i ended up in that pit um of music the other day and i ended up watching america's got talent reruns on youtube like the best i don't know one of those things was like the best of america's got talent and this girl was on there and she was 12 and that was in like 2016 when i tell y'all she was singing to my soul i have also always kind of been into like the indie listen the whole like raspy adele the vibe indie kind of female vibe i've always been here for it i've always been in my feelings and this girl puts me in my entire feeling i just like lana del rey florence and the machine just oh oh it's so good she is so good grace vanderwall everything is good i don't know my name that's what she sung on america's got talent with a freaking ukulele and she rocked my entire life 
like she snatched every everything was gone like I was just like oh my god why do I love this so much so then of course I had to find her on iTunes like she's just out here doing just doing it just doing it she was just like make she's making songs for Disney and stuff so I love it I love to see girls doing amazing moonlight and I don't know my name are my absolute favorites right now so if you have not heard either of those if you're not familiar with Grace Vanderwall go ahead and look her up go ahead and listen to the division album and just stop playing yourself stop playing yourself and finally uh, my fin style favorite particularly my finance favorite for this month has become looking up new savings accounts <laughs> best savings accounts best best savings accounts and best credit cards because I am looking into getting myself a credit card to start building up my credit if you are new to my channel and you do not know who I am or anything about me I recently graduated from college I recently graduated from Clark Atlanta University with a degree in business administration and a concentration in finance which is why we are talking finance because I absolutely love it my brand is called Fin Style, where we combine all things finance fashion in lifestyle and just discuss how we can live a financially fit and healthy life so my thin style favorite of this month my favorite thing to do in the past month has been looking up new savings accounts as well as new credit cards so when I say new savings accounts I have my bank I have a bank and I have a credit union my credit union is my home credit union it is back home in Boston and I will always use it but I have been looking up new banks in Georgia or credit unions in Georgia that have good accounts that I might want to look into or whatever it might be their rates whatever it is and then I've also been looking up new credit cards or a credit card that I might want to look into getting so I can start to build up some more credit credit is extremely important and if you have student loans you are already have credit and your student loans are going to impact your credit so my fin style tip of the day for you guys is to look into your student loans who your lender is who holds your student loans and what the process of repayment is going to be like for you get a clear understanding ahead of time of how much you're going to be paying and just kind of how this is going to fit into your overall life and the overall grand scheme of things because six months from now you are going to have to start repaying those loans and I do not want you to be caught off guard so those are all of my favorites for you guys I hope that you enjoy it again if you're not subscribed make sure that you hit that freaking subscribe button we're gonna hit 50,000 subscribers in 2020 I know we are we're gonna do it together and follow me on Instagram so you never miss any of the fun thank you bye guys